does. Absolutely adore watching all the speedrunners. Keep it up, everyone. And it looks like we're ready to go with Silent Hill Homecoming, so big round of applause for Techie. Yeah, kiss <laughs> All right. So, uh, <laughs> thank yeah, you. Brother. Heck yeah, brother. Um, not a whole lot of fanfare. Let's do the let's do the couch thing. Not a lot of fanfare. <laughs> if the homecoming's finally here, it's well, homecoming. Okay, finally before here. I before I forget, I gotta do the couch intros. Cause I always forget that. In order, if we can see, slightly off screen is Ravenheart. Ecdysis is. Howdy. This one, we got an eternal enigma, mm -hmm. nub zombie, and then also out of screen, maybe leaning in is Maxi Lopes. Cool. All right, and we have a timer first. And yes, we do. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Yeah. Woo! It's happening. All right, we did it. We got Silent Hill Homecoming, homecoming into a GQ. <laughs> We're strapped in. There's no going back. And this whole intro part's super loud. Oh, it is. Yeah, this, yeah. We can talk about that real quick. They advertised, like, the Dolby 5.1 surround sound nonstop, like, in the opening and the credits and all that to this game. So my hypothesis is that the stereo mixing is just really bad. This is super loud, and it will be normal soon. Bad audio mixing? No way. My goodness. In, in, in a, a Silent, Hill, Silent Hill, game? Hill game? No way. Uh, and this cutscene is unskippable? Yeah, they, Who'd heard of such a thing? They're very picky with their uh, unskippable cutscenes. Yeah, there's they like, sure there's, are. There's like three or four, and it's weird because some of them are in succession. Like you can skip one, and then it'll load another one that you can skip. And hey, what is this place? Hey, where are you we're gonna we're gonna be doing that thing again where we just rag on this game like for an hour straight. <laughs> yep, kind sure. of. Where am I, man? Where am I, man? All right. Jacob's Ladder, almost done. Hey, wait. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. Got those questionable sharp things just hanging above yeah. Alex. <laughs> it's a Silent Hill game. We're in the hospital. It's a Silent Hill game, and we're going to begin with a quick time event. Does, yeah, kick yes. it off on a good note. Um, I'm already mashing. I'm ready to go. So there's like a minute 38 of intro. That guy just got stabbed by a very big hatchet. Yeah. Hmm. The big hatchet. The big hatchet. So this whole intro section is actually just the hospital. They just dump you in right away. Uh, it's going to be, what is it, like five and a half minutes or so? Roughly. It, I'm all screwed up because the, the timing for leaderboards is different from, like, the timing from the start. So, like... If you include the intro, it's like seven minutes, but we... Whatever. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, there's this little kid, and we're going to chase him around for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any weapons or anything. We just start out in Josh, this mysterious, uh, you know, I guess clearly a hospital. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be Alcamilla Hospital from the first game, even though it doesn't really look like it. Nah. All right, we're going to find out real quick how you can tell that this is the one purely American-made Silent Hill game. <laughs> This exact cinematography in a second here. This is also why they call it Silent Hill the movie, the game. Yeah. All right, this exact shot right here. <laughs> oh my. All right, anyways, we don't want to talk to her. No, we do not. <laughs> Yeah, Nothing they, to do with that. Yeah, they, they, they paste the tutorial up there, and we're good to go. Weenie Hut Jr. All right, dodge the wheelchair. All right, it always, like, it usually clips you, like, a little bit. And that's always kind of frustrating. It, this part is actually important, so we're just going to run up and try to, like, do this little quick time event thing to cut through here. And if I get stabbed... Oh, nice. Ooh. Then that's actually a huge time loss because you have to run across the room and bait them over there before you can try again. So let's go meet the most annoying enemies in all of Silent Hill, which I think is fair because they're like the same as enemies as like the Silent Hill 4 bugs, which are the most annoying enemies oh, yeah. like in the series. They sure are. 
I know them very well. So like, yeah, let's bring those back. They were yeah. great, right? They were great. Every fan favorite. <laughs> but now let's add a quick time event with them. Make them even better. Well, of course. Quick time events make everything better. Yeah, we're going to get chased by bugs. They can fly through walls. You have to do a little QT to like get rid of them. Uh oh. It wouldn't it wouldn't be a mid 2000s horror game if there wasn't some QTs. Okay, correct. Ooh, bugs list. Slow, yeah, it was slow enough that they didn't like fly. Uh, so normally I'd have a bug like stapled to my face right here that explodes as soon as I hit the ground, which would have been cool to show, but you can get. There will be more. Yes, there will. Oh yeah, you don't take damage when you're in the middle of that animation, which is fantastic. Like you'll see blood like fly everywhere, but it's not a big deal. Just casual blood. Oh, by the way, if you think your stream is lagging, that's actually just the game for this part. <laughs> this this steam lags the game out. So does like everything else in the game. But <laughs> few things exactly. in particular. Few things I, in particular cause more lag than others, and yeah. for whatever reason, that steam pipe's one of them. Yeah, sometimes it's really like egregious. All right, so we run into this little kid who is our little brother again. We, you can't really see it, but it's popping up with like dialogue options and mashing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I've I've had quite an evening. I need to, I need to tell you the story of how I got here later. It's that audio mixing. <laughs> I took a lime scooter in the rain. <laughs> Sounds majestic and poetic. It's like that a, is a, that is a, purely a, techy. It's like a bag of otter plushies in one arm, and then like a a, <laughs> a bag of Xbox 360 in the other. It's the San Diego Otter Santa. Just trying a to have GDQ a really without good plushies night. is not a GDQ worth having. That's a that's a regular Friday night for Techie. <laughs> Same thing last year with mine where you ran into the bag of plushies. Okay, I actually like this framing because the fan like spinning over the door is like good foreshadowing for what will come if you fail this quick time event. Um, it's this fantastic gratuitous like arm ripoff scene. I hate this QTE because the button changes every time. The worst part is if you mash it too fast, you also fail it. Yeah. Also, also, it's an Xbox controller, which is different from like every, you know, a PlayStation controller, and I always forget which buttons which. Hope it doesn't pop up X. I've been playing Deadly Premonition lately, and I've missed like every single QTE because of the Switch layout. <laughs> All right, so Bug is on my face. He's gonna blow up as soon as this cutscene starts. Like, actually, like you might not be able to see it because of the fade, but you can you can see some guts flying off. It can glitch sometimes if you, if you there, really and you'll carefully. have, like, the bug corpse stuck in your head. Oh, the best. Okay, so we're out of the hospital. We, this is unskippable, so we just get to hang out, and, uh, you know, how's, how's your guys' night? It's going all right. Got otters. We got homecoming. What more could you amazing want? amazing night so far. <laughs> Better stuff. Yeah, we're like, we're, like, super far ahead of Estimate, and I was telling them earlier, like, <laughs> I, I might, uh... <laughs> well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I might help fix that a little bit. Oh, no. But it's going to be great, so... So this run actually starts out fairly innocuously. Like, you don't really do a whole lot to set up. Uh, there's like, well, like 17 minutes or so of running around. The whole goal is just to get a gun, and then we can start doing really cool stuff. Uh, there's one major skip that skips a little over half of the game, and it's not going to look like anything, so I'll have to explain it when we get there. Um, so it's pretty chill to start with. You guys remember Silent Hill 2? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made a 2? Yeah, I know. It's hard to... Oh! <laughs> yeah, you'd never know it because it's not like the developer talked about it on their Twitter on their 18-year anniversary the other day or anything. The one people remember is <laughs> Origins, guys. Yeah, yeah, for the for the two people other... But hey, Origins, Contra's out on... Origins, guys. But hey, Contra's out on the Switch, so... <laughs> and, and conveniently, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn is singing on the radio. Yeah, like, every every Silent Hill and every Silent... Or every Silent Hill radio and every Silent Hill game plays Silent Hill OST music. All right, we're not going to Silent Hill, we're going to Shepherd's Glen. Very different. Big Their difference. family comes first. And the, the silence of the loading. Oh yeah, so his hair's short in the loading screens because that's like the beta model of the main character. <laughs> they should, they should when they were her. making yeah. him look more like Sean Bean. <laughs> that would have been fantastic. It fits his personality. Should have just been Sean Bean, really. I, I, that's my personal crazy theory with this game. That it was just going to be... An like, extension of the movie, like a yeah. sequel to the movie. So we start this game out by running around town with a knife in hand, which 
not weird or anything. No. We're, so this is Silent Hill Homecoming. We're literally just coming home. Like, okay. <laughs> and th there it is. There's home. Perfect. And we, no uh, pause screen. I don't know if we see it, but you literally get a map yeah, and he draws my house on the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so you know for sure. He doesn't, he doesn't want to forget Forgot my about house. That. Like drawn in crayon. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Huh. Also, yeah, someone mentioned like the no pause screen. It's like the stupidest thing ever, but uh, for some reason, if you press the pause button for too long, it pauses the cutscene, but also opens the menu. So you have to tap it really quickly, which is... Technically, like speed tech, right? That, go that yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah, I had to learn that from Starwin, so I didn't know that. Like, <laughs> I kind of messed it up there, but as soon as he starts talking, you can actually move for like a half second there, which is kind of cool. All right, so here's bad guy. All right, this one, two, three, four. You're gonna see a lot because it's like the fir it's the first. I guess like the first weapon. Wait, what am I doing? There you go. It's the first. Uh, like weapon you get, and it's like the simplest combo, but it's also just like the best for most things. Yeah, it stun locks like 98% of the enemies in this game. Yeah, it's not often uh, worth investing getting good at the combat in this. All right, so we're, again, we're just on a quest for a gun. That's our whole, like, all we, all we really care about for now. Yeah, it's a fairly straightforward run. Yeah, we don't do that happens. Yeah, we don't do a whole lot for now. There you go. Now we got a pipe. Yeah, so they give you weapons and they give you these little like like QT things that you got to do. They give you an axe so you can axe down doors. If this guy crawls out, we can crawl through him. <laughs> of course you can. You gotta go through the creepy playground. Well, we'll learn that Alex can go through a lot of things. <laughs> the creepy playground yeah, with we'll, children. We'll see that game. later. Yeah. Like, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna steal gas from what I don't think is Travis's truck, but it certainly looks like it. Could be. How did he get the gas out of the car? That's the million dollar yeah. question. <laughs> is he just drinking it? Possibly. All right, so we're, we're getting there. We have gas that we can use to fuel a pump that, can, that is going to pump water out of the basement, which is going to get us through the basement, which gets us out the back door. Nice and not uh, getting hit by the uh, lurker there. Yeah, that was, that's always pure luck. I don't even, like, try. <laughs> All skill. Yeah, there's a yeah, chance what, when you crawl back under the fence that it'll swipe you, sometimes a few times. Yeah, he, he usually does. Um, there might be like some positioning that you could like make it guaranteed, but it's so like not an issue because it's super quick. So wait, how often is flooding happening in their basement that they have the machine dedicated to it? <laughs> That's a good question. Not often enough for him to remember where the latch under the door is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> under that six inches of water, can't find it. He also doesn't remember where his actual house is. He had to write it down. <laughs> My house. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna Look, do a Alex, Alex has had uh, a, a rough <laughs> He, he's two. been away for a little while. It's called selective memory. It's called electroshock therapy. It is. <laughs> oh. oh. I messed it up. Should I try it again? Go for it. Yeah, do it. Wreck that estimate. <laughs> well, back, I have to get back on schedule. Minutes is very, <laughs> throw the schedule off. Generous. We'll fix the schedule. Exactly. <laughs> We're ahead. We'll regulate it. Back. Oh, that's... You know, we've never actually seen this glitch. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. No, I did it again. Oh, almost. All good. Oh, Shoot. Okay. Got it. One last just to try. Let's see. It'll be worth it. It's funny how many. Five minutes is so generous. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how many weird little glitches and stuff there are throughout this game that obviously don't help the speed run, but there's still a lot of weird places you can go out of bounds and stuff like this. Nah, it's, oh, it's well. not oh, well. So what would have happened there? 
Uh, you turn invisible, like permanently. <laughs> it's pervasive over save files, so you can beat the game and you'll start the new game invisible. Oh wow, that's cool. I didn't know that much. Do, do the enemies see you? Yeah, it's, everything else is the same. Uh, your your like hitbox is the same and all that stuff. The only like the one single difference I can think of at all is that uh, there's a cloth in. Oh god. Oh god. Bad dog. Yeah, bad dog. Whack. Every, everyone pipe. look away real quick. Oh no. No one likes this part. Gotta cover the otter's eyes. I know. <laughs> That's not a dog. It's a pork chop. Yeah, it's not a dog anymore. <laughs> Sorry to anybody that watched Doug. The dog was named Pork John. There's a dog here. It's gone now. Oh yeah, I was saying. So when you're uh, when you do the invisibility glitch, the uh, that like curtain that hangs down in the attic, you don't collide with that. Huh? That's the only thing I've ever seen like act differently. Weird. So clearly, it would get world record if you could do it. Because of like skipping the lag of the curtain hitting your head. I'm this sure is, it probably saves a frame. Every second speaking counts. Of, speaking of things hitting your head, I love Alex's method of like going through gates and just ramming right through them. <laughs> yeah. Face first. Yeah. He knows how to handle his problem. <laughs> he just pushes it right his, through. He's got a strong nose, okay? He just pushes it wide <laughs> open. He knows what he's doing. He's been away. He learned what to do with his nose. Just trying to assert <laughs> confidence. <laughs> like a T pose. Yeah, but for him, it's just a nose. So. Oh, like a T nose. All right, I'll stop. I'm done. Oh god, I just got him. Right, please, no, I, of oh. Course. oh no. Yeah, that's bad. It's also uh It's also like advantageous like frame wise for the dog, so he can like do it again immediately if he wants to. So that's usually bad. Yeah. It's also like like I don't fully understand the hitbox. Sometimes you can be like, you know, ten feet away and it'll hit you, and then other times you'll be like next to him and it, nothing happens. Hey, it's, game it's, it's a marked improvement over Origins before this, where that's, that's true. That's enemies would just like draw you into QTE from like across the street. <laughs> yeah, this is completely changed. <sighs> so yeah, bad. they sure would. That game. Mm. It's a good debut for a Western style held to GDQ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that's true. So we've we've done one through four like multiple times, except for four. Well, I got but it both, once. Got it once. Yeah, once. It's, but it, oh, we've done like the classics, and now. Uh, yeah, we get to show this off. Also, that was another, like, what I consider, like, an American camera angle, where it's like, our introduction to L is butt first. Yeah, priorities. It's the best of her personality. You know what, they should hey, just make her own personality. You know what Silent Hill needs is a, a romance. <laughs> they should just make that the overall, like, introduction camera angle. Like, we should get introduced to Curtis. With like a low, but I oh, agree. God. We should, we, Curtis, it, it should be equal. Kurt, we should see Curtis <laughs> the same way. Speaking of Curtis, yeah. So this whole this whole goal, like, the reason we did the little adventure to like get behind the house and escape through the cemetery just to get to a junkyard is now we're in the junkyard and that's where we can find a gun. I mean, we have a gun, but we're gonna trade it for a gun that works. It sucks that he doesn't at least try to aim and use. The broken gun, because then we could use that like right yeah. away. Yeah, this would be fantastic. This whole sec, this whole part, like, would be nothing. Yep. All right, so we're gonna talk to an interesting character, and we're gonna sk we're gonna skip all the dialogue that comes after. But this first part is actually pretty great. Hello. Multiple choices. Can I ask you something. I'm busy. <laughs> hey, you're Curtis, right? <laughs> man, this, this, this is the best. Hey, man. man, how's it going? <laughs> Good choices. <laughs> it lets you do them all anyway, so... You have to do them all. Silent Hill 2, eat your heart out. Mm. Yeah, so they let you skip, like, the the rest of that conversation, at least. That's that's pretty nice. Well, if you talk to him again, it gets really bad, because they give you more choices. Oh, yeah, the extra dialogue after <laughs> that, he's if like, you try to get the shotgun. The shotgun? <laughs> yeah, and his voice gets really <laughs> angry. He likes a shotgun. It's like, how about if I slap you and kill you? <laughs> <laughs> Fair rebuttal. Well, at least we have a gun now. Yeah, so I, I finally got my gun. Everything, everything is great. I'll clap to that. And <laughs> we have a gun. Yes. This is the entire speed we've been waiting for. Yeah, finally we get to like play the game. It's gonna be great. So these smoker enemies that are coming in, uh, is it right about here? 
we want to avoid looking at them as much as possible because those particle effects, just like the steam earlier, lag the game out like really hard. And one thing with the weapons in this game, there, there is no inventory limit for your melee, but you have an inventory limit for ammunition. It's, it's interesting. And they lower it on hard mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. They make a point of that. You can carry all the melee items you want, but ammunition, you're very limited. Well, you ran out of space with all the melee items. I know. Well, it's clearly. <laughs> that is true. You can, that, that chainsaw, it's like the size of your torso. It really you just, is. Like, <laughs> put in your back pocket. It's priority. Yeah. It's, Travis Grady taught us all about that exactly. in Origins. He can carry five IV stands and three portable televisions. Alex can carry a few bullets. I wonder what like the f like the functional high limit of that inventory is. Like if you hack like infinite TVs, <laughs> will it crash the game? Or like or like you know like ten thousand TVs, like will it crash the game? Hello, okay. Purpose Circuit City. I, I, we should actually do it. So we're gonna skip half the game right here. Let's do it. And All right. And there we go. All right, done. So yeah, very nice. <laughs> Ta-da. I know what you're saying. Oh yeah, so I guess we should we'll, we'll explain that. So this uh, this ladder right here is super important because it is a ladder you're only supposed to be able to climb in a later section of the game where you come back to the cemetery. So for some reason that ladder is still climbable in this like first version of the cemetery. So when you climb down, uh, you climb back up, and then it thinks you're in the second version of the cemetery much later in the game. And I'll like mess with my inventory later, but suddenly I have a shotgun and axe, and <laughs> yeah, I got I got I got goodies now. He just remember he had them. Yeah, I now have a shotgun. It's it's still really amazing to me that they even thought to like program anything like that into the game, because there's instances in in other Silent Hill games where like in Silent Hill 2. You know, on the PC version, you can skip all the melee items and then get soft locked in a well because yeah. the game doesn't yeah. give them to you. Uh, whereas in this, you skip half the game and it's just like, oh, you're supposed to have a ceremonial dagger and a shotgun right, and a fire side. axe. Here you go. I mean, you might have noticed we took a slightly different way back through the cemetery because this a different section is open on the way back. He finally moved. <laughs> yeah, he's like on a set path on the way out, but then he kind of stands there in your way when he's done with his like set path. It's kind of like that one hallway enemy in Silent Hill 1 in the school that like comes out of the door you need to leave. Oh, yeah. All so right. if you're quick enough, you can walk past him because he's on a set path. But if you're too late, then he'll turn and grab you because he's done with his like set pathway. Mm -hmm. I hope the dogs behave. They never behave. <laughs> they're, these are bad dogs. They're, there is such a thing, and they exist in this game. Well, they're all pork chop. Yeah, we, that's, that's our, 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 uh, our loophole. Mm-hmm. I like fiddle with the inventory nonstop when I like play this. Also, as like a note, weapon like whatever weapon you're holding doesn't change your speed. You could hold whatever you want. Yeah, he's, he's, that's actually kind of nice in this game. There's no stamina like there is in Origins and and two and three and yeah, they you just four? have this like flat kind of run. No speed. game and it's saved. It's actually pretty good. No, no game, game saved. saved. I still have that sign in my house. You sure do. <laughs> it, is it still on your wall? Yeah. When you stream in the background. Yep. Yep. I wish I got one for Silent Hill three <laughs> and Home Kills. Just collect signs for days. Yeah. Mementos. Just in general, it's probably like a forewarning. We keep talking about how glitchy this game is, so it is like fairly crash happy. Mm -hmm. So if that happens, that's just a like warning ahead. We have saves. Yeah, we have safe saves. I mean, this is at least the most stable version you could be playing. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is the best version of this game. You tell me, PC Which, isn't great. We'll you buy it for five dollars. <laughs> I mean, do you want to talk about the PC version of this for oh, a little bit? Oh, God. <laughs> do we want to talk about how it's still $40 on Steam? You, you want to buy talk about that? Sale unless for $5. It's on sale, still $40 if it's not on sale? Konami gives you generous I, sales. I did want to mention, actually, that uh, the goal right now, so now we have a gun, we skipped most of the game, and we need the entire like point of all of this is that we need a key to get into this attic room. You can clip into here with a gun, which is the New Game Plus strat, but... We don't start with a gun, so we gotta go all the way and do the whole song and dance and then go get one. By the way, this, this is the curtain I was talking about that doesn't collide with you when you're invisible for some reason. This one, you just pass right through it. <laughs> you could have skipped that. That's super interesting. <laughs> it's gotta save a, at least a frame, right? You guys all like intuitive puzzles, right? Oh, God. okay, so this is like the worst <laughs> puzzle in the game by far. <laughs> it looks 
like fairly innocuous and it doesn't take too many turns to solve it. If, if you, you mess it up, you can screw yeah. yourself so hard. If yeah. you thought Shakespeare was hard in Silent Hill 3, you've seen nothing with this one. It's practically you already too far behind. Yeah, the only thing with this puzzle is that it, it's so difficult to reset it. You can't just like leave the room and reset it. You can't just like leave the house and reset it. You have to go like all the way across town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and come yeah back. Or, like back to the cemetery. By the way, so this is why we need the gun. And we're now we're underground. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're gonna be doing that a lot. Yes, so we are. it's kind of different from the the big skip that skipped most of the game. Um, that one was just kind of like shoving yourself up against the door and then you pass through. This one, uh, it's more of like an aiming trick. Uh, eventually, you can get a wall to kind of like start sucking you in. Yeah, essentially, what, <laughs> essentially what happens with with aiming in this game is like whenever you're uh, equipping a handgun and aiming, Alex moves very, very slightly forward. So that's essentially just what you're trying to get triggered on each of these walls that uh, Techie's clipping through. You're just trying to get enough momentum and aim in the right spot so that Alex moves forward, starts clipping into the wall, and then the game recognizes that he's partway through the wall, and it's like, oh, you should be on this side of the wall, and it kind of draws you through. I don't even mess with this guy. I didn't even know he could stomp him. I was just like, got the gun I waited for him. But going back to the whole trick thing, uh, going left and right, as Nub says, essentially building speed. And once you build enough, you can just kind of get stuck inside the wall. And then the game doesn't know what to do at that point. So Yeah, there's we'll like soft spots that you can kind of phase through. And if you know how to do it, like the basic gist of it, then you can go run around town and like look for all of them you want. It's actually, I was going to say, it's actually really fun. That's incredibly dorky, but it totally is. The worst part about that trick, though, is it's not a consistent trick that people can do. Every single run of the game has their own method of doing it, and it's entirely a feeling-based thing, because you have to feel yeah, the wall. That's yeah. going to come up later. Yeah, that's one of the, the hardest things ones. for, like, getting new people into running this game. Yeah. yeah you just, people you, are like, you just kind of feel it. It is know? intimidating. <laughs> like, I've never run this game, and that is very intimidating. I'm not like, going to lie. Like, new people getting into this game, it's like, all right, what do I do to do it? How do I do the trick? You just kind of have to feel it, man. Yeah, you got to feel yeah. it out. Would I run it on Xbox 360 or Xbox One only? Why not anything else? It won't work. <laughs> PS3 kind of works. I ran this game it's, starting on yeah, PS3, true, dude. <laughs> well, okay, it started on PC, but PS3 was uh, like actually like good. But there's a cutscene later that really kind of messes up with speedrun times where, I know at least on PC, that if you're playing on PC, it's seven minutes of time loss just because of a cutscene that you can't skip. Yep. By the way, this whole section, um, you can do it um, optimally in like one cycle the whole thing. It's just that you have to get every single item perfectly. There we go. So this is the same thing. We're just skipping, uh, I don't know, going down some stairs and a few, like, those little, <laughs> those cute little hops Leap. that he does. Good clips, by the way. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I practiced for this and everything, but I've been speedrunning this for, like, six years or, like, five to six years now, so it's like, it's second so it, age. Yeah, it's, it's all muscle memory. Yeah. The point. Western devs would be pl proud. They better be, at least. I Tom, hope I hope you're yeah, watching. I hope you're proud of this, Tom. <laughs> hey, buddy. Remember me? <laughs> you guys remember Robbie the Rabbit? I used to have no hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. I remember Robbie the Rabbit. <laughs> well, there he is. He's the amusement yeah, he's park the... mascot for Lakeside Amusement Park. Uh, an amusement park that in this game, Alex and his brother Josh were forbidden from ever going to. <laughs> and yet somehow they still have stuffed animals. It's because of all the Robbie the Raj Rabbit merch. Yeah, they, they exist in the universe where like Silent Hill is a huge franchise. <laughs> Robbie's Very basically meta. like Mickey Mouse in this world. Everybody knows him. So these really like is. these these cutscenes are actually loading screens. You can clip into different parts of the house doing the same like wall clips, and uh, they'll just be unloaded. And they're like black voids. I believe the items are still there. It's just that like the textures are gone. So this wall right here is probably the best wall in the game to actually learn how to do this trick, because it's so like just. I call this the standard. omelet. <laughs> well, but why? Because it looks like an omelet. Really? To me, yes. I I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I've been eating the wrong kind of omelets. I was going to say, what kind of omelets have you been eating? What, rectangular? That one's oh. made of, like, you know, steel and, I guess, fire. The orange ones? The orange ones. My omelets are usually, like, yellow. A lot of hot sauce. 
Of all, like, you take out the boogeyman knife from that corpse, and then, like, you put it in the other corpse, and it's, like, really small. <laughs> it's magic. All right, so this this part, like, that uh, that clip through the floor was actually important because there's a guy who's going to spawn here who normally spawns in front of you. And then kind of, like, he, like he, he spawns, and then you can, like, run by him if you want, but on the way back, he, like, super body blocks you, and it totally sucks. So he spawns behind you on the way out if you clip down there. And that's, oh. that's the house. That's, uh, this is my favorite part of the run. The, the, <laughs> the this, is, this is unskippable, so... Yeah, it's an unskippable cutscene, followed by a loading screen, followed by, by two, two skippable <laughs> cutscenes, followed by another loading screen, followed by another skippable cutscene, and then you can play yeah, it. It's a play of the Heck game. yeah. This is the section of the game that when I was doing testing uh, for timing between PS3, PC, and 360, and Xbox One, I would compare the load times during this. Since there's no gameplay to interfere, it's just how quickly you mash through things. But yeah, that's why Xbox One is like the fastest. Yeah, for sure. This is also the first Silent Hill game in the series that didn't have a results screen, so it doesn't use in-game time like we use for practically everything else in the series. Does it? Downpour yeah. have a result screen? It does, but it's not very yeah. good. Yeah, it's not a good <laughs> one, just like anything else with that game, which I have the world record on, by the way. Horrible. What happened to me? It's going to slide that in there, How huh? did this all been downhill? <laughs> How did this happen? I love you, Starwin. Please take it back from me. <laughs> hey, Starwin has a world record in this game. I think he's just happy that someone finally took it from him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you can see how durable Alex's ribs are. Yeah, oh, these is... jumps. Ugh. Like, that's the real feat. It's it's the one in the prison that always looks <laughs> so painful like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, like that. <laughs> There's three, more. Throw your entire upper from. body at a wooden, like, floor. Alex, are you there? So that's a guy we haven't met yet. I mean... <laughs> If we actually like play the game properly, we would, but we'll, also, meet, we'll but forget him. that. We're actually in Silent Hill now, right? Yeah, this is actually Silent Hill. The name of the game. Wanna do some donations? Techie? Yeah, I mean we got we got one clip coming up one and then clip? prison's a little mm -hmm. Wheeler. stale Wheeler, after I'm that. There? Wheeler, come in. There's a method to this one. This is where the game actually gets hard. So we're like two thirds of the way through, and suddenly the game's like speed run ability becomes really difficult. Yep. Yeah. And it just gets worse and worse as the game goes on. You go for the uh, fast route. What? <laughs> just like two I routes hope so. this. <laughs> is there a different route? Yeah, there's an easier route that has you do more eclipse. No. Oh I'm yeah. Gonna... You go yeah, around right it. Here. Oh, I mean, the the old strategy for getting through this. Yeah. Was okay. I, ridiculous. Okay. I lied. It's super easy. Perfect. Every single Very time. Nice. Look at this. Apart that. Very nice. Wow. That, yeah. that whole method thing I was talking about. Throw it out the window. Yeah. It's fine. Yep. But um, that wall. Some walls in this game are absolutely thick. So you have to use a shotgun <laughs> to kind of twist you to the other side of it. Oh, by the way, now is good donation time. All right, we definitely have some. We have a $50 donation from Kubi that says, get on the bus. Gladly. <laughs> For sure. We have another $25 donation from Newbie Cake that says, the most beautiful couch I've ever seen on GDQ so far. Good luck, Techie, on the run. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have a $5 donation from Teddy149 that says, love you all. I need a quick, like, quick canter. All right, so we're going to shoot some guys in the head. <laughs> Just the standard. Yeah? Yeah, you know. Traditional Silent Hill enemies here, guys in suits. That, that was the real horror all along. The real horror is those groaning sounds they make. Yeah, <laughs> when they talk, they're through a filter, but when they groan and die, it's like perfect it's perfect quality in your ear. And re yeah, really weirdly loud. Yeah. <laughs> See? They're talking, th they're talking through a walkie-talkie, but when they die, they're like perfectly Yeah, they in have your that ear. like gas mask filter on everything else they say, they, except for dying. They just turn ASMR when they're... Maybe their job requires them to talk through the filter. Okay, Possibly, yes. They're not getting paid if they're dying. And the walkie-talkie dies with them, so they go ASMR mode. It's unfortunate. All right, so uh, Wheeler, and he's there. great. Mm-hmm. 
He is the saving grace. And also, here's the this, this jump. Wheeler's a rib cage of the gods. <laughs> Look how he just eats it. <laughs> Boom! Like we. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, so, it looks like so owie. painful. There are internal organs here. They're gone now. Alex, hit that switch. Okay, to beat Wheeler. Aww. Sometimes you can run past a Wheeler and it's slightly faster. Sometimes he does a 360 here. It's yeah, he'll do like a little twirl. Ah, uh, no. uh, I didn't do it. Alex, it looks like I can control the gates for the entire prison from this panel. Yes, it works. Okay, so it's going to spawn me outside of this cutscene in a different place and fade out and then fade back in to, to like try to cloak it. See it? Oh, it didn't, it didn't even do the fade that time. Normally there's a really quick fade to black, but you can see that it's like just spawned you in like that part. You actually moved during that fade too, so it's yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, exactly. Also, now we're back to uh, the out of bounds of this. Yeah, I hate this one. Yeah, this one's awkward because that wall is not at all like there, you're practically like half the way in the door. Oh! Maybe the more we complain about, the easier it gets. Yeah. Okay, what better to world? slow clip uh, than no clip. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes this game will just kind of give you some weird clips like this where it's a very slow pull and, I mean, honestly, you just kind of got to take them when you can get yeah. them. Yeah. like a fax I, machine. I hate this clip, so I'm okay with We take with those. those. Alex just like a fax machine going through like two walls. <laughs> Dial up. Ooh, that's really good though. Like, this one's a bit tougher because there are the two and they have to rise on this table. Stupid freaking death. Very yeah. good. <laughs> there we go. But we do have a part oh. two coming up with this fence. All right. All right, and here we go. The who's, problem with the fence is... If I hit the cutscene, okay. I'm going to scream. I know. Yeah. I was going to say, who's donating if he hits a cutscene here? Because you can lose about, what, 20, 30 seconds here? Roughly about, uh, and uh, it just happens. Yeah, you'll you'll clip through this and it'll hit a cutscene trigger sometimes that'll put you downstairs and you got to run back up, try the clip again. Really enough, I'm there's like chilling. There's like special ammo in the corner of this like weird out of bounds area. Oh, there's area. there's the floating mysterious gun. Yeah, Star Wars has a bounty on that. Hey, no cutscene. Wow, Very nice. I'm happy. Awesome. With that. I'm gonna look around. And the ammo's in the top left corner over there. We'll see it. Yeah, you can see it glowing there. Hey, All right. You got normally, it normally our mom is there and we like talk to her. <laughs> and this this is just a tree root now. <laughs> The mysterious tree root. To be fair, Alex has the personality of a tree. Uh, heart. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's supposed to be a person there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All these dramatic angles. But since you clip in here, her model's not there. Yeah, I was just going to shut it for a little bit. And then he uh, <laughs> shoots the tree. It's funny because if you actually watch the whole cutscene and everything play out, there's a blood effect that just starts pouring out from nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a good deadly premonition tie-in with the bloody trees. Yeah, exactly. You need red seeds to start flying out of it. Hey, don't worry. You have another sliding puzzle. Yeah, this is, like, it's one of those weird, like, just kind of goofy little riddle puzzles. This is here. It's like that first puzzle in the game where you shoved your arm in the hole. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's true. I, I mean, you can't, like, talk smack about that because, like, they kind of did that for weird reasons in the other Silent Hill games. You know, just suddenly out of nowhere, it's like, we're going to do it. These goofy little riddles about, like, logic and stuff, whatever. Wheeler's back. Yeah, we have Wheeler. Now he actually like follows us around, and he has infinite ammo, so that's great. I have pistol ammo, but I don't really need it anymore. Yeah, Wheeler, Wheeler being able to help shoot stuff know, helps out for exactly one room. Right yes. two, it helps out in the prison right... Uh, for the big guy. Siam, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's actually pretty helpful. Sometimes Wheeler can be kind, sometimes he just like won't even aim. It really depends on how he's feeling. This room right here with the needlers, most of the time he'll be really cooperative and like kill stuff for you really quick. Sometimes yeah. though, he's just like... Well, I get, I get to be the bait and they get to try to stab me. And as soon as he kills them, this door opens. He's saying that. See, uh, and, and this is work. what I mean. Like sometimes they'll kill them right away and that door will open pretty much right when you get to it. Sometimes he just kind of takes his sweet time shooting stuff there. And... Okay, so we're going to our first boss fight, which is actually the third boss fight. We skipped two of them. Um, you, so there's two cycles to this. Like all boss fights, this one's totally scripted. But we can do enough damage with one shotgun shot to skip the first phase. Let's see. Let's see if I get the magic shot. That sucked. <laughs> that wasn't very good at all. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. Nice. Yeah, whatever. So now that's like headbutting the ground, there's many periods of time where uh, Taiki's gonna be able to go to the tail and then hit that, and then you get a lot of damage off. Like so. All right, so we have to do this three times, and then she's gonna swing. 
And we get to do it again. And we just keep doing that. This box, uh, boss's name is Asphyxia. I think that's how you pronounce it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She, like, strangles you. It's kind of cool. It's an Alice in Wonderland reference. <laughs> kind of cool. They wanted to make, like, the first game. <laughs> Right, that should be it. They wanted this game to be a lot like some earlier games. Right, and then we, Hello, we go. We but, uh, her to death. Good fight, by the way. Yep. Yep. Easy peasy. Okay, this is where the game gets hard. Yep, the game is just amped up. You've been saying that. Well, now the game's like much harder. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like, amp even up. with the out the clip. I'm looking, I'm looking at the timer. Like, okay, I have 15 minutes to be the game. Oh god, church is good. Hope it cooperates. Church, yeah. Church three is always the worst. Uh, so we actually have names for the clips. There's like one, two, three, based on the level. And this is the church. Josh, wait! I mean, it's, it's a church. It's, look, it's a church. Yay! Oh my god, it's not a church. That awesome skybox. <laughs> trying not to look at this guy. So, so we're gonna get some ammo for a gun we don't have because we'll get it later. If I, hopefully I remember. I had this weird muscle memory of like skipping it. Okay. <laughs> my God, what happened? I love here? this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> my Mashing God, what happened here? Is that true? God, what happened here? <laughs> my God, what happened here? Mashing on text again here. Okay, so there's three parts to this. All right. They're all horrible. Church one. It's to get through this thing. They're like progressively more and more. Ooh. Hard. Yep. So this first I probably one probably had it, and then it's difficult, but it's not the worst of the three. Okay, I'm getting height. That's bad. The main issue with this one is that it's on a slope. So while you can still kind of clip through the wall, you can see Techie's not entirely getting it because it's yeah, the ceiling. Flying around like a, know, like a drunk bird. The whole goal here is you want to go like straight through. Yeah. And it's always going to kind of throw you out I of the loop. I think that's going to. Maybe. I don't like it. Sometimes you got to wiggle it. And that kind of goes back to the whole idea that um, with these wall clips, you have to like feel them out. Mm -hmm. And there's not a good way of just saying, oh, do this. It's like, no, you get inside that wall and you better know how to get out of it. <laughs> Find a way. Yeah. Because, uh, as I said, there's no real strategy that's like consistent where it's like, oh, if you always line up your, Ooh. your mm -hmm. reticle with this thing and uh, move this way. Maybe. If I can get halfway, then we're fine. But yeah, it's slowly going. And also, if you remember earlier the prison clip, it's going to be the same like idea. The oh. oh. It might push you back. Oh. Uh, uh. Maybe. I think, I think you got it. That should, that should be good. There's that. one! Yeah. That's Elle, remember her? <laughs> yeah, remember her? She, yeah, she's in this episode, too. All these skips are designed to make us skip forgiving her father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you try to avoid the hard decisions in life, do it. Just that's the, the walls. That's, that's what decisions. this speed run is teaching us. Here we go. That was really good, really fast. Uh, this one's the most awkward one, uh, yeah, honestly. I, this is, yeah. Because getting out of it's a lot harder. Getting into it's probably easier than most of them, but getting out of it is uh, very no fast. Never mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's actually super easy. I was I was lying the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All he right, had, now it's he up. had you right from the start. And this one's up. I I don't even know why I'm talking was, about it. I know. I was, that, I was, was like, that was instantaneous. I would have screamed. If, if you'd like first try this while someone's talking about it. Yep. Getting into it's usually the hard part, but the, uh, the reason why this one's really tough is you have to get in the middle of that weird kind of table in the middle of the table. Like, what's that called? I don't know. But that big wooden thing that has like the multiple levels. Ah. He's trying to get enough momentum to get launched inside of that. You. Kind of the yellow it a lot of the time, which is kind of awkward. And it's just based off, all right, did you get enough speed to get in there? Did you get the right angle? No, try it again, which you'll see Techie doing here right now. Yeah, I'm just kind of like ramming my face into it right now, but I need to go through it. At the very least, he did get the, I would say, the harder part in some ways, because getting enough momentum to get into that first part, it's very awkward because like right in a diagonal corner. Yeah, that's what makes this clip so difficult, is it's such an awkward corner. You've got a very little amount of room where you can strafe and still stay at an angle where you'll clip in. Yep. I would say this is the one that normally prevents you from going, hey, I want to run Homecoming. They get used to the wall clip. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, my God. Go. Very nice. Okay. Church was fine. But, yeah, that, that clip right there is probably the one that turns most people away from running this Right. Game. Yeah. And now you can just run through the mines. Yeah, so this, this skips uh, fighting two Siams. This skips talking to your dad. Mm -hmm. You know, all the plot exposition no one wants in a speed run, it's gone. It fixes a big problem. You never see Pyramid Head. 
The boogeyman. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me, the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be right the boogeyman. Un- un- unless you specifically my, go for that ending. <laughs> my original yeah, character, really the boogeyman. I love going for that ending when you're wearing the boogeyman costume. Oh, it's so funny. Because <laughs> then you have the pyramid head on and they, they put another one on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's absolutely great. Okay, so this part's dicey. Uh, so we're about to enter the final level. Like, I call it level, but you know what I mean? The, the final dungeon. The final yeah, it's the same way, like, you know, Silent Hill 2, it's like the hospital level, and then like the yeah. running around Silent Hill level. So earlier we talked about the PC version having issues. The biggest one is that this cut scene coming up right yeah, here. Let's talk about how great this is. You can't skip is. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long scene, too. And then he just hulks out. Because when you... Right, right, just, yeah, just busting out. All right, so, uh, yeah, um... Oh, oh boy. Oh, uh, oh boy. Oh, oh. Well, that's why we're on at 4 a.m. Yeah, I mean. 3 a.m.? <laughs> Not sure which one. Late night crew. Cover the eyes of the otter. <laughs> cover cover their eyes. Dead body. Oh, Alex already said there. it. <laughs> All right, so, these, so now we don't fight monsters anymore. We fight guys in rubber suits. Guys were the real monsters the whole time. And they say just like the best lines. Shepherd! Let's see, let's see what we get here. They're, 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 hitting, hitting, each other. they're hitting each other. Why? What is happening? It's Again, insane. the guys are the real monsters the whole time. This is like a cartoon. <laughs> oh god, you're gathering them all up. Shepherd, I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. Get you, Shepherd. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's four of them. My god. Yeah, just use the dagger. They'll all stand there. They all just kind of are taking it. Freaking. Oh. oh. In terms Uh-oh. of. He- oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. In terms oh. of health states, it's two headshots or one headshot and a knife combo. That item cannot be used here. I used a health kit. Like, what? I love how the key can be used, like, really far away for whatever reason. It just floats through the door. All right. This is where things get weird. Uh, we're going to not clip through this wall, we're going to clip into the ceiling. I feel like I should talk about the clip so you can get it immediately. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is a really tough one, too. You have to rise up. Like a game. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> but, but yeah, this is what a lot of us call the pillar climb. Um, essentially, you're, you're clipping into a certain part of the geometry that is going to push Alex upward. Ooh. Just into like that. the ceiling. Is that enough? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, if you see gray, then you're good to go. And uh, from this point onward, by aiming the gun repeatedly, you're moving that little amount forward, which is, again, kind of how the whole glitch works in general, and you're able to go to the other side. I take I take that as, Simple. like, a tradition. You land, like, on a health kit that you can take. It's, like, behind you. All right, this clip sucks. Now I have all our stuff back. This is the last one I, like, really hate. This one's weird because you have to, like, wiggle through, and it's easier with a ray gun because you can shoot, but if you can't shoot, then... It's like weird there's also pipes. Yeah, there's also certain things yeah, this like that are mounted pipe. on walls. Yeah. And they'll prevent you from clipping all through them. Luckily wiggling kind of works, but it's this is definitely an easier on new game plus as a clip. Alright, time for the magic. Oh my god, you can do that? Hold on. I might <laughs> So the shotgun usually spits you back out. Also the uh, the canon reason for why this clip works is because, I mean, you have a wall there, and Alex has the personality of a wall. He's pretty much becoming one with himself, which is why he can clip through these walls. Which Very is well said. absolutely profound for this time of night. <laughs> a little too profound. There, I made it in, though. <laughs> well, he's just Tornado of Doom. And we got one go. more. Go. We got the rifle. Rifle out of, yeah, yeah, no, out out of the abyss. This part's loaded, of course. Uh, I'm looking for shotgun shells. They're about... I'm stuck on something. But techie. Maybe a chair. The real question. Right. Where are they? There they are. Are, are you going to go for the final door clip? No. <laughs> oh. We're going we're gonna to read donations, and it's going to be great, and we're going <laughs> to never bring up that clip again. Hey, getting it gets you top three. <laughs> Free. So does buying an Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's pretty much the same exact thing. 
Also, Wheeler's here, but he's invisible. Yeah, I, he's there. We promise. We fixed him. Or did we? Mm, we'll find out. Oh, we sure will. In the end, it's him, he who fixed us. That is, <laughs> that is, that is even more profound for this time of night. Just, just remember, the Silent Hill wiki told you, if, if you ever come across somebody with a bunch of knives stuck in him like Wheeler, yep. and you want to help them, don't pull those knives out. So here's that puzzle we're talking about. You can skip this by clipping into the final door, but it's incredibly risky because there's a very small part of wall to go through. And if you go inside of it, you can actually die if you clip exactly wrong because you have to clip into the door and like move into there. So much time, uh, whatever. Yeah, I, well, oh, this works out. I wanted to point out the outer ring takes nine turns to go all the way around. It's not random or anything. It is set up specifically so that this outer ring takes the maximum number yep. of possible turns. <laughs> yep. Just to, to waste your time. To waste your time. They want you to get play donations, play now's time. a good time. And then we're going to go for, fight the final boss, and it's going to be great. I hope audio balancing worked for that. Yeah, bless your hearts. <laughs> we apologize. Any donations? The, well, it's this time of hour. Yes, we have a uh, $50 donation from Anonymous that says, no comment. <laughs> Yeah. It's Thank really you so much, Anonymous, for your money <laughs> and your support. There's one. And for your Silent Hill silence or whatever. OK, then we just turn this bad boy. And then we don't skip these cutscenes too quickly, or else they'll be unskippable, which is weird. Yeah, luckily they're shorter than some of the other ones that you can mess up on, but. Yeah, you just got to be patient. All right, really juicy final boss fight. Let's do it. Everyone say hi to Amnion. Hi! I'm, I screwed up. It's a giant, that pregnant, accordion spider thing. If anyone's wondering, this is why we gathered all the ammo earlier in the game. Yeah, so I, I now have a rifle, and that rifle has full ammo. Good shots, by the way. We haven't even gotten the rifle yeah, yet. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. You can do it in, like, I think four shots minimum. Now we're on phase two. Uh, faster, stronger. It's like the Daft Punk song. Her attacks are way easier to deal with, though, and that part is great. All right, let me just like, okay, don't don't do anything. Just walk. And this boss looks like. Ooh, time's coming up. Ooh, that was and really good. Time. All right. That was a really good last boss. And now I told you, say, it's gonna be juicy. It's this a little boy. He's gonna say this <laughs> boss. Speaking of juicy. <laughs> There you it's go. A boy. This, this boss is a spider because that boy loves spiders. That's how detailed this game is. I also love pregnant spiders. Okay, we we got a special I don't ending. Know about that, but We're, can we do that real quick and then we'll be all set? After there's there's like plot happens and they're gonna wrap it up or something. Sorry. It's that boy from the beginning of the game <laughs> we saw once. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. Sir, so not appearing in this game. <laughs> look, I look at the film grain. Sorry, it's all, it's always like super obvious during the cutscenes how like the, there's that film game over literally the entire game. Never meant for this to happen. Neither did we. It's like Silent Hill 2, except instead of your wife, it's a child. Da da. Here, buddy. Take Wrap this. it up, Alex. <laughs> People are watching. <laughs> uh, yep. Just having a moment. Yep, us yeah. too. Yep. So were we. Ours is, ours is a little different. <laughs> the dad. It's going to do the same thing with the, the fist and both the flashlight. You have otters. Usually by this time, I'm like getting a drink or something <laughs> and like, you know, letting the credits roll. I go yeah. like go to the bathroom or something. Is there any reason why his eyes get like totally black here? It's, I don't know. <laughs> Bad lighting and texturing. They, they tried. Or it was on purpose. Who knows? <laughs> they used the beta model. They tried, okay. There's like three gears, which shouldn't even work, but whatever. <laughs> what ending did we get? We got the the the, the, the ending. Like, Do I even have to ask? <laughs> which one do you think? Hey, I mean, it's like I'm just happy we finally get a UFO ending. Last year we didn't get it, or any other time. No spoilers. <gasps> See the aliens. It's the, yeah, yeah. Look, we got out, and everything's fine. He remembered his limp. Suddenly my, <laughs> suddenly my leg is not okay. You'll now remember. his now leg remember. hurts. Adrenaline. Just now remember. After the drill's been in it, now his leg hurts. And there's that girl we, like, met 
once. Yeah. Once in a while. The love interest. Saw her butt for two seconds. Yeah, that's romance. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said, too, when I figured out that you could do this in your very first playthrough. Oh, wait. And away they go. I knew it! Yeah. That's why you have to give him the med kit for that one line. Yep. So he can show up and go, I knew it! I knew, I knew it. <laughs> well, the aliens won't show up unless Wheeler's there. It's the summoning. Is Wheeler an alien? <gasps> well, there's a whole bunch of... I mean, subplot of Wheeler. Go put that on the wiki. Everything else is on. There's a whole bunch of subplots of this game of Wheeler being like a crazy conspiracy theorist that just isn't in the it, main game yeah, at all. Yeah, they, they really don't even... It's all in like supplementary materials. <laughs> PDFs released on the website. Yeah. Memory of John Watson. <laughs> okay, and uh, that is Silent Hill Homecoming. Woo! Easy peasy. Yeah. No crashes, no nonsense. It worked really well. All right, thank you so much, Techie. Silent Hill Homecoming, everyone. Congratulations on the run. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous. This is no comment. Also a $5 donation from King Thursday that says, Jake, Jake, Jake. All right, everyone, my name is Sam Without a Plan. That's it for me. We're going to go to a uh, real quick Twitch ad. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Service stuff. You guys down for cash out here tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll let you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Two runs were great. That RE3 run was so hype. Like, it was really Everything good. that could have gone wrong went wrong. Oh, it was yeah. fucking hilarious. That's what made it so good. Yeah. Like when he had that weird like like glitch where he had to like, he was like sliding like, like Tomb Raider style, like Tomb Raider 1 style. Right. Where he's doing the guap. Like, <laughs> this shit is hilarious.
Good morning, TwitchCon. I know it's early for some of us here, but we're going to keep the hype going. I am certainly excited. We would like to remind you that this GDQ Express is benefiting able gamers. There are, three, or there, are, there are millions of people with disabilities who can't play video games without expensive, specialized equipment. The Able Gamers Charity helps gamers with disabilities providing that equipment free of charge. Their mission is to create opportunities that enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. In case you were thinking, oh, you know, I got some extra money kicking around. I really want to donate it to a cool cause. We do have a challenge coming up, so you can put it in for a bid war. We are at 1,200 out of 5,000 for the Super Punch-Out Blindfolded Race. That is crazy. That is going to be so much fun. So hopefully you can donate and see that later on in the show. All right, the one that you've all been waiting for, 